In this video, we'll see an overview of the user interface in Nova. We've designed Nova to be really easy to use and to have the same look and feel as Microsoft Office 365 apps. Over on the left hand side, you have a menu which gives you access to parts of Nova. Up at the top right, we have a notifications area where important information will be shown. If there are notifications, then the icon changes to show you how many there are. The next icon gives you access to the various settings relating to you and your organization. You can get help by clicking on this icon. And finally, you can get information about your profile here. You can switch to different organizations if you have access to more than one, change the theme and see what roles you currently have. One of the great features of Nova is being able to give non-administrator users access to the system in order to view reports or perform administrative tasks without needing elevated privileges. You can customize what they see and what they're able to do. This is a screenshot of a delegated administrator. The top right area is the same as we saw earlier with the same sorts of functionality. But as you can see over on the left hand side, the menu is greatly reduced because this user has restricted access. A few other things to note about the user interface. When you see this button in the UI, you can click on it and get a pop-up menu of options applicable to the roles you have and the object you have selected. When you open some pages of the user interface, like this one showing information about a user, there is a close button up at the top right, which will close this part and take you back one level. Finally, you can filter and search in many parts of the user interface, like we see on this list of users. And that's all for this overview of the interface in Nova. Let's quickly take you through how to set up a configuration policy for your virtual organizational units. Ensure that you have organizational units set up before you begin to start using configuration policies. Let's start on the dashboard. 
where we go to the Manage Administration tab, then go to the Configuration Policies section. Click Add. Then create a name. For my policy, I want to assign My Analytics to my UK VOU, so I'll name my policy My Analytics, but be sure to create a name that suits your needs. Click Add and find the VOU you want to assign your configuration policy to. For my example, I'll choose the UK. Then go to the Actions tab and click Add. As you can see, there is much more you can do with configuration policies as well as assigning licenses. But for example, we'll assign a user license. I find the license or licenses I want to apply, in this case, My Analytics, and click on the slider. Click Save, then Save again, and your first configuration policy is now set up. One of the powerful features available in Nova is the ability to delegate administration of both on-premises and Office 365 objects to non-administrators. Nova allows you, as an administrator, to define actions that can be performed on all or part of a tenant, or even across multiple tenants if required. These can be delegated to individuals within the organization. You can even be granular enough that you can define which properties people are allowed to see and modify. You can even allow end users a degree of being able to edit their own information stored within Office 365 via our self-service policies. Let's look at a few examples. You can allow a regional help desk to reset passwords for end users, but only users in their region. You could allow a team manager to update some information within each user's profile, but not be able to update the home address, for example. You could even hide some attributes, like home phone number, entirely if required by your business policies. Authorization policies are really flexible and help ease the burden of administering both on-premises information if you still have an on-premises Active Directory, as well as data stored in the cloud. That's all for this introduction to authorization policies. Over a period of time, you'll build up an organizational structure in Nova with some policies. Sometimes you might want to see which policies apply to a particular virtual organizational unit. You can do that quite easily. Let's see how. Here, we can see our organizational structure. You can expand the structure like I'm doing here. Let's say you want to see which policies are assigned you click the ellipsis button next to the virtual organizational unit and select authorization policies from the menu. The right side of the page shows a list of the policies that apply to this VOU. That's a quick way of finding the policies that apply to it. When the authorization policy has the option enabled on it to apply to sub-organizational units, then John can manage L1 and the geos Jill, on the other hand, can only manage Geo3. That's all for this video on determining which policies apply to a virtual organizational unit.
In this video, we'd like to introduce you to Nova Dashboards. Here you can see a dashboard for a tenant that I have access to. Dashboards are a simple and effective way to get overview information about a tenant. They're customizable, interactive, and you can turn on NOC mode or NOC mode, which fills up the display with the chart information, making it useful for call centers and other similar applications. Widgets can be moved around on the dashboard like we see here. If a dashboard is going to contain information relating to a specific topic, you can give it a descriptive name. You can add additional widgets to a dashboard as well as removing the ones that you don't need. One of the great things about dashboards is that they're interactive. You are able to hover on certain charts and graphs to get precise numbers about that certain piece of data. You're also able to create a chart, table or graph straight from the dashboard. If you go to the configurable chart widget and enter your widget title and subtitle if appropriate, then choose your data source and you can begin creating your report. To do this, check out our other videos and knowledge base articles linked below. You can refresh your dashboard at any time to get up to date statistics also. The final thing to say about dashboards for now is that they can be useful for big screen displays and call centers, network operation centers or help desks. You can turn on knock mode and see just the information and charts without the rest of the user interface. The audit log shows an administrator who performed what action within NOVA and to which object in Office 365 or Microsoft Azure. Let's take a look at it now. Click Audit Log in the menu on the left side of the screen. You immediately see a list of recent actions performed in NOVA. Along the top of the screen, you can filter and query data stored in the audit log by entering terms in various columns or choosing values from drop-down menus. As soon as you select something, the audit log is queried and results display. You can sort the data by clicking a column header. The column currently being used for sorting is highlighted by a dark colored bar above or below the column name. If you click it again, the sort order is reversed. At the bottom of the screen, you can change the number of rows displayed on each page of the audit log. You can browse the pages of data. You can see the previous page or next page by clicking the arrows. That about covers delegation and policy control audit logs in NOVA.